Welcome back to the greenhouse guys. We are out here on a nice rainy day so it is super peaceful out here. Kids are at school so it's very nice to be able to work out here on a rainy day and get a little bit of work done in some peace. So no music, no nothing. We're just out here listening to the rain and the birds and the crickets. So I really, really enjoy that. So without further ado, we're out here talking about greenhouse venting requirements. And before we jump into that, please hit that like, subscribe, notification bell if you're new here. If you've been here for a while, thank you for being subscribed to the channel. So let's jump right into this. Greenhouse venting requirements are important, especially on a DIY greenhouse. If you're like us, you found yourself building a DIY greenhouse and you found yourself calculating the requirements to get the heat and get the humidity vented out of the greenhouse properly without having a kill off. And we are going to help everybody find the minimum requirements and show the formula. It's very, very simple to get this and it's very easy to get the minimum requirements on any greenhouse and have proper ventilation, especially if you use any type of fan system. So let's jump right into this and I wanna share all of this with everyone. Now, first things first, if you've bought a kit, you definitely have the required venting requirements so you have the minimum so you definitely will get away with that and you don't have to add anything and it should be allocated properly we'll talk about position and placement of your vents at the end of this video so jumping right into the formula you're going to take the length times the width and you're going to find the square footage of the entire greenhouse. So very simple, length times width equals square foot area. So we're going to take that formula and we're going to take that times 0 0.02 and then we are going to find the actual square foot area that you are going to require for the area of greenhouse that you have. So it might sound a little complicated, but it's very simple. So let's start with our six by 12 greenhouse. So six by 12 equals 72, 72 times 0 0.02 equals about 1.4, 1.4 square feet. So that is not very much. So one square foot, you picture, that's about how big our windows are. We had about one and a half square feet on each window in our little six by 12 greenhouse, plus our door and all of the other accessories with fans and stuff. So we certainly met the minimum requirements for venting in our small greenhouse. You can check out tons of videos from our little six by 12 kettle panel. So moving on to like a Harbor Freight kit greenhouse, that is going to have your requirements already, obviously, because it's a kit and it comes prepared, but the 120 feet, the 10 by 12 equals 120 square foot area. You're going to multiply that times 0.2. So that's about 2.5 square feet of venting requirements. So I'm sure it comes with that. That's a decent little area of venting and I'm sure they have them placed properly. Moving on to a larger greenhouse, this 520 square foot greenhouse. So we got 52 feet long by 10 foot wide. So 520 times 0 0.02 equals about 10.4, I believe, square feet. So 10.4 square feet of venting and that is quite a bit. So we have met that with our windows. One window is larger than the other. So the window down on the north end is larger than the window on the south end. We built the window on the south end first and we built all of that and if we would have built the north window the same size we would have been under the minimum requirements. So we wanted to be above so we kind of funneled everything and the wind always seems to blow this way. It seems to like build up pressure and stuff like that. So equal size windows are a must and having them equal and opposite of each other are a very important feature. So ventilation location is very, very important and every vent has to have an equal opposite vent to itself, meaning that each and every vent or window should have an equal and opposite on the opposing wall. So definitely on each sides and parallel from each other. That allows and provides for the very best airflow. Now using fans and forced air or forced induction into the greenhouse or forced ventilation is a very good way to add and build upon the ventilation that you already have. So you have a nice window, you've got the venting requirements, and then you add a fan. So you are in business, you will not have any issues with stagnation or rot or any excess root growth on your tomatoes from having extra moisture in the air or anything like that. And having any type of fan will exponentially increase the flow rate through your greenhouse, creating better oxygen flow and better aeration to all of your plants. And it helps harden off those smaller plants at a good rate. So moving on to autonomous systems, 
system. So having autonomous systems in the spring and fall are very important and we use them pretty well all year because we try and grow throughout the entire summer and the entire winter inside the greenhouses. And having those autonomous systems such as a wax filled cylinder that opens and retracts when it's cold and opens when it's hot. So we have an automatic venter or a mechanical one or you could have an electronic one that you plug in and that is a little more expensive, has a cost because you have to pay for it or you could use it solar powered and have a free charge but you still have to hook up some type of window ventilation because it is very very important to be able to open and close in those tricky and trying times when it's too cold or too hot so you want to be able to ventilate heat or keep the heat in depending on what season you're in. Now we are approaching winter here and we have our greenhouse windows pretty well situated for winter. I mean we don't have to do a whole lot. This is a little bit open because it didn't retract all the way, but one more important factor is having your windows sealed up and allowing them to seal up nice and tight. Let's jump out here. I don't want to show too much in the rain, but that seals up nice and tight. And our other window way down in the north end, I'm not going to run down there, but that window seals up nice too. And having sealed up windows in those winter months when your actuator's closing it is very, very important because you don't want any excess heat if you're paying for heat, if you're using compost heat, or if you've got all of your geothermal systems, or you have all of your passive thermal systems where you're storing the heat from the sun yesterday. So you don't want to lose all of that stored heat and all of that energy and all of the work that you put in so having a good seal on your windows and vents is very very important and I think that's going to conclude the video I'm just going to get some work done here I gotta feed my son's fish while he's at school but it's still raining out there so I'm not doing a whole lot of work outside the greenhouse I will be getting a ton of stuff done in here so thank you to everybody for watching this and if anybody has any questions on venting or venting requirements and DIY greenhouses definitely drop it in the comments below that's all we do so thank you guys for watching and thanks to all the new subscribers